All right, hey everybody, this is Rosh, and you are watching Helix Basics. This is a YouTube tutorial series I'm putting together to help new and experienced users program their Line 6 Helix. So a little about myself. Once again, my name is Rosh, and I build and program guitar rigs out here in the LA area, as well as online. So my clients include Steve Vai, Def Leppard, Melissa Etheridge, Dweezil Zappa, Perfect Circle, Bush, Maroon 5, and more. So I wanted to give back to the Helix community and show some tips and tricks on how to program their Line 6 Helix. If you've been watching this YouTube tutorial series, uh, you've definitely seen that I've posted a lot of fractal audio content, and one of the things a lot of people don't know about me is that I program all the modelers out there on the market, including the Quad Cortex, the Kemper, all the fractal products, and in this case, the Line 6 Helix. So there's a lot of crossover content, there's a lot of best practices, no matter what uh, modeler you choose, and um, a lot of these tips and tricks will help you get the best tone and functionality in whatever modeler you use, both live in the studio, on tour, and wherever else you may find yourself. So this tutorial is going to be dealing with adding an expression pedal um, to control other different blocks. Um, if you watched a previous video, we just used a volume block and the consideration of where the placement of the volume block is going to affect the different types of functionality you may want to use. In this case, we're going to be adding a wah and a whammy and then again assigning it to the expression pedal and in some of uh, my favorite ways to approach uh, this. So a very common uh, request for most users is, of course, they want to use a wah pedal, they want to use a wah sound in their helix. So what we're going to do, of course, is um, address that. And then s some of the behavior I find is going to be a, a little bit better functionality uh, than the default. So what we're going to do, of course, is just go to a blank slot, and we're just going to press the joystick and, of course, go down to where the wah is. So let's add a wah first. We're going to use a mono wah, and then, of course, we have a lot of different wahs to choose from. I'm going to choose the throaty wah. I find that the uh, top end of this is a little bit friendlier. Um, I use a Les Paul uh, for a lot of gigs and the top end can be a little bitey um, if I use some of the other wahs. But again, every user is going to be different. So uh, now that we've added it, we can of course just press the joystick down and we have this. So here is the tone without the uh, wah engaged. So I'm using a Les Paul. Here's the neck pickup. Here's the bridge. All right, so now that the wah is engaged, um, by default, the toe switch of the expression pedal is going to engage or bypass the wah. This is a, um, now, I find that uh, for a lot of users, maybe they may want to use expression pedal one and expression pedal two and assign them to the same uh, expression pedal that's built into the helix. And you may want to use the toe switch to toggle between the two expression pedals. So, for example, a very common thing that a lot of users do is Maybe expression pedal one is going to be used for the wah and an expression pedal two right here is going to be used for a volume pedal. And then you're going to use the toe switch to toggle between those two different things so you can control both. So that's why I find that the using the auto engage style function of a wah pedal is definitely going to be a lot more useful. Now, let's just talk about the wah in general. Obviously, the FC low and the FC high is basically, you know, the low frequency and the high frequency or the sweep of the wah. So you can, of course, hear where the low end is. So using the position right there, that would be the low end. And then, of course, you can sweep all the way to the top end. Some wahs, you, if you want a bite of your tone, obviously go through the wahs and find something with maybe a higher FC. So this one's going to be a little bit bitier, the chrome wah. And if I do this, you know, or the weeper, um, and you can, of course, just crank this up if you wish, and then it's going to get really bright. So again, out of the box, I do find the throaty wah just a little friendlier to my ears, but again, every user is going to be different. So there's the low end, and then here is the high end. So what you can do now, of course, is um, the expression pedal is already going to move the position. It's just kind of by default, but... If you want to disengage the wire, you're going to have to just press firmly. Now, since I got this on the on the table, it's a little trickier to, you know, just place my hand there. So I will just use the bypass function for the time being. But what you can do is actually assign this to auto engage so that, for example, when the Russian pedal is in the heel back toe up position, um, the wah pedal will turn off. And then if you manipulate the expression pedal, the wah will automatically turn on and you can do this type of functionality and then use the wah pedal and then put it back into the heel back toe up position and then the wah will bypass automatically. So this is similar to 
a lot of those auto wahs on the market, such as the Morley Bad Horsey Wawa. So what we can do now is we can hit this hamburger icon or the three things right there. And then what we can do is we can do the bypass assign. So right here, what we're looking at is, is what do we want to assign to control the bypass state of this? And by default, the, it says EXP toe, meaning the toe switch of the expression pedal is going to bypass this. Of course, you can go through this and you can see that as I move in a counterclockwise direction, the bypass is actually going to be assigned to FC, FS1, which means it's foot switch one. So this is going to bypass the foot switch. Now that's going to be a pretty cumbersome movement. So what we want to do is by default, it goes here. We're going to go just like one notch to the right and it says EXP pedal one. So make sure that if the wah is going to be used for EXP pedal one, these both match. So for example, if you are using a volume pedal or a volume block in EXP one and you're using, you want all the wah functionality to be assigned to EXP two, make sure that matches. So in this case, we were using EXP1, so I'm going to put EXP1 right here. And then what you're going to see is the behavior is something that you're going to definitely want to be aware of. And then, of course, you can do heel down or toe down. So heel down is basically with the toe up, heel down position. And then toe down means all the way forward, toe down, heel up, or heel flat, or whatever you want to call it, position to bypass this. So, for example, if the expression pedal is all the way forward, you can... Uh, it will bypass this, but if you put this in the heel down position, if the Russian pedal's all the way up, the heel is down. Both behaviors can, are going to be user dependent. Some may find that if they want to press the wah all the way forward without engaging the, the toe switch, that can be also a useful way to turn off the wah again, just because it visually looks better. Maybe you're just, um, you want to just make sure that you know that it's always going to be off so that Maybe if the wah is halfway up, it's going to be engaged and that's not the behavior you want to do. So for the time being, I'm going to do heel down right here. And then the position is, of course, like how much percentage uh, of the expression pedal does it need to be at before it detects that it's going to be off. And then the wait time, of course, is how quickly you want it to turn on and off. I find that the default setting 300 milliseconds is probably fine because if you are using the wah and you're manipulating it and doing just wah wah stuff like most guitar players are going to do, if the position is too high and the wait time is too short, you may hear that the wah is actually turning on and off as you move it. I need uh, doing the wait time a little bit allows the helix to detect that like, okay, he's done with the wah and then now we're going to bypass. So now that we have that engaged, I'll just hit the home button and then you'll see that if I move the expression pedal to the heel down, so again, heel down, toe up position, the throaty wah is bypassed. But if I press down. Of course, I got the wah. And of course, it still stays on in the forward position right there. And then if I want to bypass this, it's off. Now, again, if we wanted the inverse of that, so where the expression pedal is all the way forward and it turns off, again, we go to the hamburger icon, the three little lines there. We want to hit the bypass assign. And instead of doing the heel down behavior, we do the toe down behavior like this. And then now the wah will be off in the toe down. But again, the wah will turn on. And then here it is all the way in the heel back position. The wah is still on. And of course, if we want to turn it off, we go to the forward position. And again, this can be useful if you are like maybe a guitar player like Michael Schenker, where they leave the wah in a very specific position. For example, whoops, something like this. Sorry, I'm trying to manipulate it with my hand. Um, you know, that can be kind of useful. But again, I find the behavior of the um, heel down to be a little bit more intuitive for me. But again, every user is going to be different. So now we've assigned this to the expression pedal to the wah. And then you got some wah action. Now, Let's say you wanted to do a whammy pedal instead. So if you, um, you know, maybe are playing some Rage Against the Machine songs or you're trying to emulate something like that, Muse uh, and other things, instead of doing the wah, what you can do, of course, is go down here and we're going to go back. And again, we're, we're going to go up to the pitch slash synth. Let's go into mono. And again, we have the pitch whammy right here. And 
one thing that we can do again is by default, you know, you end up having the bypass state. So again, let's look at the bypass aside. Again, it says expression toe switch. That means the toe switch is going to turn this on and off. Again, I find that kind of like not great because I do want to use the functionality of expression pedal two. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to expression pedal one. And again, because I'm using expression pedal one, you can, of course, uh, some users do like when they use the whammy, they can assign it to a foot switch. So of course you can use the pitch whammy right here. As you see, I've assigned it to a foot switch. You can, of course, do the hold and assign it that way. But again, if we're just using um, the whammy pedal so that it'll just turn on, I like to use EXP pedal one. And again, we have the same type of behavior as the wah that we just covered. Heel down, it means that the expression pedal is going to turn off and then you can manipulate it as such. I find that's very intuitive for the whammy pedal because if you do heel, uh, if you do toe down, then you're going to hear the pitch go up an octave as you bring the expression pedal forward and then the whammy is going to disengage and then you're going to hear the pitch drop one octave. And again, that can be a very counterintuitive way to do things. So now, now that we have this here, I find that, you know, the heel pitch is going down an octave. You can see that the pitches are negative 12 and plus 12. So I find that if we um, actually do a starting point at zero, I think that's going to be a little bit more of the whammy style, Tom Morello, Rage Against the Machine, you know, Muse kind of thing, um, where at the heel back, it's going to be only uh, at the regular octave. And then when you go toe forward, it's going to go up one octave. If you need to go up two octaves, then just go to plus 24. So first, let's hear it with plus 12. So again, this is one octave. Each number represents one semitone. So here is the... Okay, so here's the starting note. I'm playing the A string. And of course, going up an octave. And you see that the note in disengage, or engages. If I go all the way to the heel back, the whammy pedal bypasses by itself. So now what you can do, of course, also is do up two octaves. So here again is the A string. So pretty simple. And again, we have this bypass function as we go into the heel down position. Again, I find this very intuitive. It's a lot easier for my personal workflow than using the toe switch. I can also, um, the toe switch on the Helix, uh, it definitely doesn't feel like a, you know, a standard wah pedal kind of toe switch. So sometimes um, I found that if I do have the toe switch using, uh, assigned to a bypass function to turn on the wah on and off, for example, I find that I have to press really firmly and I may miss turning on the wah, or sometimes I may leave the wah pedal on accidentally. Um, or can't disengage it quickly enough if I need to disengage the wall. So again, I find the heel back just way more count, uh, way more intuitive, and it always I always make sure that the expression or uh, the effect is bypassed, and I don't have any issues with that. And again, also allows me to have two expression uh, functions assigned to one uh, expression pedal. So of course, what you can do is you can have, uh, for example, if, in, if you're not using a volume pedal and you want to use maybe the expression pedal one for the wah and expression pedal two for the whammy, you can do that too. And again, you can just follow the same steps that we just did here, but again, assigning the different functions depending on whatever effect you're using. So again, sky's the limit, but um, there's plenty of options for a lot of people for what you're going to do, but that's going to be just kind of a basic run through of how to assign the expression pedal to two foot switches, or I mean, sorry, to two effects. So if you guys need any uh, help programming your Helix uh, or any of your modelers, I would love to help you out. Feel free to contact me directly and we can set up a session. Uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to reach out. Uh, and thanks for watching. I'm falling with you, I'm standing with you, Taking